Now, let's get more on an extraordinary press conference from Vera Powell in the last hour, the Ireland national team boss who's preparing for a Women's World Cup, of course. Uh, let's uh, cross live to Jess Crichton, who will be following the Republic of Ireland at the World Cup. Thanks for, for rejoining us, Jess. I mean, it was... Such a powerful uh, news conference. It was uh, at times a really uncomfortable exchange. And of course, Vera Powell at the centre of, of, of allegations down to her conduct while she was at Houston Dash in the, in the NWSL. I wonder if you can just sort of fill us in about that and, and what, what actually occurred in the press conference itself. Yeah, you're right, David. It was remarkable. It was compelling. Um, and as you say, it was quite uncomfortable at times. Uh, there were a couple of spiky exchanges um, myself and the other journalists weren't sure what to expect from Vera Powell, um, but she certainly came out fighting. And you're right, it it's all relates to accusations about her conduct while she was head coach of a uh, United States uh, team, Houston Dash, back in 2018. Now, these allegations are quite wide ranging and they're very strong. They're very serious. They relate to controlling behavior, uh, her making comments about players' weight, um, manipulation, even some instances of physical aggression. Now, of course, she categorically denies that. And I've been in a lot of press conferences over the years, but this was one of the most remarkable in the way that it started. Vera Powell came out and she read a statement from a journalist and friend from the Netherlands called Barbara Berend. Um, I think it's the, the same uh, story as uh, in December. Um, it is... Um something of a few anonymous players and how can you defend yourself uh, against a lie um, i've decided to read out one um, comment that i received it, it is from the netherlands i don't put my hands in the fire for anyone but for you and your pedagogy pedagogically responsible interaction with players i do that 100 percent I know from so many players how important you are or have been for them inside out and outside the, the pitch. You go beyond everything to choose the best for a person. Everyone can learn something from that. You can't defend yourself against a lie. And that's all I want to say. We are going to uh, a World Cup. We have done phenomenally with this team and we would have never been able to do that if our bond with each other would have been so strong and so positive. Um, so that's all I want to say about it. And Jess, it wasn't just Vera Power in that news conference. Uh, the Ireland captain, Katie McCabe, uh, also spoke. What, did, what does she have to say uh, about her manager? Yeah, it's been interesting. It was made a note of in that press conference is that none of the players as a collective have come out publicly uh, to support their manager. But Katie McCabe says any support that we offer our manager will be private and it will be internal and we'll be having those conversations amongst ourselves. But Katie McCabe was also quick to point out that there's still this togetherness in this team. Whilst this is a distraction to be talking about uh, the misconduct or Alleg uh, the allegations of misconduct against uh, their current head coach for something that happened five years ago is a bit of a distraction considering the historic achievement of uh, qualifying for a first ever Women's World Cup. She has said that they're not going to allow it to disrupt their preparations. They've got their eye on the ball still and they're very much focused. It's match day minus one. They're very much focused on playing France, one of the best sides in the world. And they play them tomorrow here at Tallis Stadium. I did find it interesting, though, that... Katie McCabe wasn't immediately supportive of her manager. She didn't say there was an issue, but did admit that they'd had arguments in the past. She said, I push my manager, the manager pushes me. Let's see what she had to say exactly when I spoke to her earlier. I can't answer for each and every player. Um, of course, Vera has a style of, of management um, that we're used to now over the, the last two years. It's something we've worked um, together, we've, we've argued with each other, of course, like you're never going to get on 100% with your manager at times, she pushes me and I push her, um, so in, in my opinion um, and from my personal relationship with Vera, of course, yeah, we've, we've clashed many a times, um, but we're always professional enough to, to make sure we are fully focused for the team um, and we know both of our, our hearts are in the right place in terms of wanting what's best for the Ireland women's national team going forward. Yeah, so Katie McKay, very honest there. I, you know, she admitted they don't always see eye to eye. And you, you just wonder whether now, at the end of this press conference, Katie McKay seemed pretty irritated that 
20 of the 25 minutes were wasted talking about Vera Powell when she said we could have been talking about this, the historic achievement of them qualifying for the World Cup. I wonder if that might breed a certain siege mentality, us against them, and actually drive them forward. Uh, it's just 15 days away now, David, that they start their World Cup campaign against the co-hosts uh, Australia on the 20th of July. Before that, though, all eyes on France here at Salah Stadium tomorrow evening. Thank you very much indeed, Jess.